Shamai. This is lesson 12 on how to read music on our bass ukuleles. Apologies, it's been a little while. In fact, it was November I recorded the last lot of these uh, lessons, how to read music. Um, but hopefully now, back into the swing of it. I'm using this book, which is Team Strings, double bass book. Um, highly recommend getting it, because apart from the fact I don't cover every single piece of music in there, uh, a lot of the books come with a backing track CD as well, which is great for playing along to. So lesson 12, um, I'm actually going to cover three different pages. Page 28, page 29 and page 31. And we're starting to look at the natural notes. We've learnt C sharp, for example. So this time we're going to learn C. So it's going to be the notes on our third fret on some of the strings. The reason I don't do page 30, I've never covered it in school, but hopefully now we're in the position where we've learnt enough basics of reading music, we will start to fly through the book and hopefully actually start learning some proper uh, songs on the bass uke very soon. So let's get stuck in. Page 28, the note C. I mentioned it a second ago. We've already learnt C sharp, which is fourth fret. So we've got A, B, and we've done C sharp. But this time we're actually going to do C, sometimes called C natural. All right, so it's going to be open A, B second fret, and then third fret, C. And this is why I do recommend getting the book. I'm not even going to do all the pieces on each page, all right? It's for, for you to get an idea of where the notes are, and then you can either practice if you've got the book or just go over uh, the songs that I'm doing in this video. So you play C with your middle finger, your second finger, which will be third fret on the A string. The first one we'll take a little look at is a slow march. It's on the A and the D strings, but in fact, just checking now, yeah, there's only some open Ds, so most of this is on the A. So a slow march, I'll count through it this time. It's on the A string, but with a couple of open Ds. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, open D. One, How did we get on with that? All right, it is a slow march. Um, I'll do it once more and I'll try not to count just a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Now, when I'm putting my middle finger down on the second fret, I'm not lifting my first finger. That is just staying there, all right? It makes it so much easier because your fingers are then ready to play. And as always, don't forget, you're pulling your right hand when you're plucking the strings across, not away from your bass, okay? So across. So there's a couple of others, Russian Lullaby and Okushiri on page 28. I'm going to skip those for now and we're going to go straight to the bottom which is Col Doddy and the reason I want to do this one we've got a different time signature to look at okay we have got at the beginning two four all that means is there are two beats in each bar in other words I'm not counting to four each time I'm only counting to two 
Again, it's on the A string and the D string, but this time it has got some open Ds and first fingers on the D string, okay, which is our E. Um, and just for information, same as slow march, this might sound quite sad because it's actually in the key or key signature of A minor. So call Doddy, it has got that little keyboard sign as well, which does mean there's an accompaniment on the backing track CD. So I'm gonna count to two, and this time I'll keep counting all the way through it. All right, here we go. One, two, 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 one, rest. Next line, one, two, 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 one, two. And don't forget to actually stop the note ringing when you've got a rest at the end of each line. So call Doddy once more, this time a little bit faster, and I'll try not to count. One, two. So that's the note C, in other words, third fret on the A string. So page 29 is the note F, exactly the same principle. We're looking at one, two, third fret on the D string, which is our F. We've already learnt F sharp, okay? This is all just to do with the key signatures now. And I haven't forgotten, I will get round to doing the circle of fifths video at some point, but the note F, so we've got open D, second fret is our E, first finger, and then our middle finger, third fret, plays an F, or an F natural. So it should sound D, E, F, okay? So the top of the page is the farewell. It's on the D and the G strings, but be careful, the very last note is actually our new note, which we've just learned, which is our C, third fret on the A string. So the farewell, here we go, it's back in four, four, or four beats in the bar. I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. at the end don't forget to stop it now this one's actually in the key of C major that's where we finish on a C and the key of C major has got no sharps and flats so the evening hymn this is next one on page 29 again it's on the D string the A string and the G string this time okay so let's try evening hymn all right I'll count us in but I won't count all the way through because again, it's in four, four, four beats in the bar. Here we go, evening hymn, one, two, three, four. signature of this one technically it's in C but there's a little bit of A minor in there don't worry all you've got to remember is for this one it is second finger on the D string and second finger on the A string 
And this is where now it does get important. You've got to look at the start of the piece to see if there's any sharps and that's going to tell us, is it fourth finger, fourth frets or second finger, third frets. So I'm going to skip Los Contrabandistas, the smugglers, all right, and go straight to the bottom, which is in the forest. Again, D string, all right, for our new note F. A couple of notes on the G string, G and A, and a few notes on the A string. And it's going to be second finger in this piece, whatever we're putting it down. So in the forest, I'll count us in again, it's in four, starts with C, our third fret, our new note on the A string. One, two, three, four. 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 Lots of quavers in that one. That's why I kept counting for the first time. But I will do it again once more. No counting. But remember those quavers go twice the speed of the crotchets. Okay, so in the forest for the last time. Hopefully no counting. I count us in though. One, two, three, four. How did you get on with that page, the note F? Now, these are going to take a little bit of practice. Two reasons. First of all, we're using more strings. But secondly, it's getting used to now using the third fret with our middle finger rather than the fourth fret with all our fingers. Page 30, I don't tend to teach when I'm teaching cello or bass in school, composing your own music. That's not what I'm trying to achieve with these lessons and when I'm doing it in school. But if you want to have a little go, feel free. We are now going to look at page 31, which is low G. Again, it is our third fret that we're going to use our middle finger, our second finger on, on the G string. We'll start off looking at lament at the top and then we'll finish off the lesson with song of hope at the bottom. So lament, if we look at the beginning of it, it's got that funny sharp sign. Looks a little bit like a hashtag. The reason for that is this piece has got F sharps. When we learnt notes on the E string, we learnt F sharp and then G sharp. Today, we're going to still be playing F sharp, but we're going to be playing just G or G natural. This one, just having a quick look, is notes on the E string with a couple of notes on the A string. So lament, it's in 4-4. Four, four. All right, so I'm going to count as four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 A, F sharp. Next line. One, two, three, four. 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 And we hold that last beat for a semi breathe, which is, of course, worth four beats. Now, that lament actually sounded quite sad. And the reason for that is we're in another minor key. This time we're in 
E minor and the key signature for E minor is F sharp, one sharp. Plus as well, we finish on an E, which is another clue. And we'll finish off today's lesson with the bottom of the page, Song of Hope. Again, this one is in the key of E minor. So we've got our F sharp, so it's still second fret on the E string, but then third fret for our Gs. But you'll notice this time, we've actually got a few more notes on the A string, still second finger, C, and we've even got one first finger, second fret on the D string for our top E. So suddenly now we've got E up there and bottom E or open E. Okay, so Song of Hope. I'm not going to count through this one. All right, um, it's in 4-4. Four, four. Let's see how we get on. One, two, three. Four. I'll do it a little bit quicker, one more time. One, two, three, four. Hopefully now you've got your head around third fret. In other words, not sharp notes, natural notes. So we've just looked at F on the D string, C on the A string, and then low G or G natural on the E string. So that's lesson 12, third fret rather than fourth fret or natural notes rather than sharps. I really will try and get the next few lessons coming quite quickly. And as I said, at this point now, when I've been teaching this in school, I normally start to skip things because hopefully your basic knowledge of things is making it much, much easier if you understand what we're doing. I do hope that has helped. Um, I will try and get the next few lessons coming quite quickly now. Um, and We'll be skipping things, so I'm going to try and get some songs sorted for us to learn soon. And I'll do that with notation and with tab as well. As always, though, if you've got a comment or a question, please feel free. Leave it below. Give us a like if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.